It's a real sense of urgency now from Barnett. Approaching the final 10 minutes of this game. Here's Pritchard. Back to Hartigan. Switching it out to Reese Hall Johnson. A lovely ball there. Johnson running into the box, trying to get the shot away. And it's Callum Stead! The Barnett substitute. He makes it count. The ball just trickles through. And there's nothing Metcalf can do. He sees it late. Here is Hartigan. It's a dramatic finish here at the Hive. Could well be the last chance for Barnett to snatch a winner here. Oh, it falls right to Zach Braun! And it's Kabamba! Right at the end of the game! It was Zach Braun who nipped it back in, and there was that man, Nicky Kabamba! He's not had a sniff all game, and he's made a count right at the death. Unbelievable, Ben! Yeah! <laughs> Told you, Nicky! He ain't touched the ball all night, but that's what happens. Unbelievable. The hive has erupted. The AFC file players have dropped to their knees. Talking as it stands, one point outside of the playoffs in the National League as Collins sends it in to Kabamba. A route back into it for the Bees. Their top scorer with a really delicate finish there. Gorman almost so, sorry. Hampton looks as well as another player that may step up and take it. But there's a good gap there to hit on the outside of the wall. It's Hartigan, it's absolutely brilliant! Wonderful free kick! Right into the corner! And having been 2-0 down, the Bees are level now. Beard, backed up by Gorman. Gorman with the cross, and they're struggling to get it clear. And Akimo had an effort, and it's in! The turnaround! is complete. Collins up from the back. Remarkable this from Barnett. What character his side have shown in this second half. Might even be able to hear the home support. Very vocal today as well. Dean Brennan, of course, the Barnet manager. I was here for that final win last time out at home at the Hive. Unbeaten in the last six in the league. Five wins and a draw. Four league wins in a row. Oh, and look at that from Idris Carter with Barnet taking early lead. Danny Collins, you were just saying to me about making life a little bit easier and getting off to a bright start, and you've just done it. I mean, that's just sheer quality from Idris Kanu. I've seen him do that a number of times in training, so it's no surprise to see when he gets in that opportunity, he takes it. So, brilliant finish. Um, let's hope we can push on uh, and continue this good stuff. Anthony Hartigan stood over this, though, for Barnett. 
who could go to the top of the table if they win by three. Seems like a bit of a tall order. And a minute it comes in, and it's the equaliser! I told you, Callum Stead. Callum Stead getting in great opportunity, great position. There he is. Finish it. Go on, Steady. Here's Pritchard now, shouts to shoot. Switches it off to the left. It's going to be seven minutes of added time at the end of this game. Here's Dale Gorman. Whips it into the box, and it's a goal! Dale Gorman! Has he just won it for Barnett? No! Oh, Dale Gorman still hasn't realised. He's been chopped off. He's off to talk to his linesman. That will uh, have a little look after the game, but the referee having a chat. And it's me, That is the voice of Danny Collins. He is absolutely delighted. And has Dale Gorman just handed all three points to Barnett? Picks a pass to Zach Brunt. Brunt into the penalty area looking for that man. And it's a goal. It's the goal to Barnett. The ball into the penalty area. And it's Callum Stead, the former Brackley man, who's put Barnett in front. And you have to say it was coming, Andy, but a pretty poor defending. The ball was floated in. It went over the head of the leading goal scorer, Nicky Kabamba, but Callum Stead slotting home past uh, Martin Brzozowski and uh, once again City find themselves behind Oxford City nil, Barnett won. Brunt on lateral hunt for years and Barnett on the attack again, they're into the penalty with Marvin Armstrong, now it's with Kabamba, Kabamba out to Callum Stead, a really good goal from Callum Stead, from Crowley 12 yards out, he's hit that one into the top corner past Martin Brzozowski and within an instant Barnet lead 2-0, the former Brackley man Callum Stead with two goals and it's a long, long way back for City now, Oxford City nil, Barnet 2.